To what is going on, man? It's your boy Flash Shit Only Man back at it again with another video. How y'all boys rocking, bullet, cooling, and schooling on a bit, man? Hey, man, say, man, yeah, man. Back at it again, man. This right here is my review video of NASCAR 21 The Initial, man. Now, the reason why I didn't put this bad boy off for a while, man, because I wanted to wait for the patch to come out. I wanted to get some more seat time, some more playing time, play the game, see everything for what it is. The state that we're at right now on October 30th, 2021. Remember, this review is for how the game stands on October 30th, 2021. So from all we know is a major patch can come out next week, next month, whatever. This is just a review for where the game stands at now. Now, I must say, man, hey, with all the things that's going on out there and, and there's a laundry list of issues and glitches and stuff like that and we're going to get into some of them but y'all know everything that's going on with this game for the most part though i'm happy i'm proud i'm for the most part you know what i'm saying getting my racing urge off again I, I'm, I'm having fun racing again on the console with this new game that we have now it's called 21 the ignition if you don't know we all coming from the heat series of games they was fun for what it was but Man, going from NASCAR Heat 5 to NASCAR The Ignition, graphically, bro, it, 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 it's just crazy. I'm just going to put it out there, man. You know, everybody says it in their videos. I got to put it out there, man. Graphically, this game is beautiful. Now, it's not the best thing in the world. I'm not talking about this Far Cry 6 graphics. But when it comes to a racing game, not just a racing game, but a sports game in general, this looks good, man. This game looks better than what Madden 22 looks like. Look at Madden 22. An EA game. Big franchise game. And look at this game, just graphically. I know it's two different sports and whatever, blah, blah, blah. But just graphically, look at this game and look at how NASCAR looks and look how, how Madden looks. Bro, this game is gorgeous. Right here, as you see on the screen, we're at Daytona. Look at the sunset. Look at the shadows. The shadows hitting the car. The change of day gone time is beautiful in this game, man. I mean, oh my gosh, you just you don't you know you you you, you got you got to be there to see it, man. It's just like going to Vegas, man. You got to be there to see it, man. But graphically, man, this game is on point from the visuals, the lighting, reflecting off the car, bouncing off the track, everything visually. The game is there, man. It, honestly, I, honestly, honestly, the game can stay like this for the next several years. I, I'm just being honest. Especially coming from what we even came from, the NASCAR Heat games, the Evolution games. Graphically, this game can stay just like this for the next couple of years, and I'll be totally satisfied. Hell, you can look at iRacing. iRacing is not the most graphical and pleasing game, but, you know, it is what it is, though. But graphically, though, this game is bananas. It's crazy. I'm loving it. I'm, Man, I am just love going to these tracks, man. Just looking at how the different sunrises, sunset, overcast, partly cloudy. You know what I'm saying? Sunny. You know what I mean? Like, I, I'm just loving the, di the different atmospheres that are in this game when it goes to each and different track, man. Like, right now, Daytona is looking so beautiful right now. And another thing that I like too as well is when you do qualifying and practice, they're all set at different times during the day. And it shows that on the racetrack. Qualifying is usually at, uh, you know, two or three o'clock in the afternoon. It's a different type of time of the day. A little bit of shadow, sun is high noon or whatever. Um, practice is usually 10 o'clock in the morning. The sun, you know, is still, you know, say high in the sky. The track is fully, you know what I'm saying, covered in sun. Like, the different times, and it shows that. I, I, I love that attention to detail. I, I, you don't know how long I hated playing a racing game where it's just a fixed time and weather. Anybody that knows about racing, man, racing is an outdoor sport. The time is constantly changing, especially with NASCAR when you have a three-and-a-half-hour, three-and-a-half-hour, four-hour race. The sky is going to look different. 
and I love that they really put that in the game. They really emphasize that into the game. So I'm going to go ahead and move on for that because I can talk about that for hours, man. You know what I mean? I can talk about that for hours. The next thing, man, is the physics. The physics, I'm loving it. I'm telling you right now, I'm loving it, man. This game right here has some of the best physics that I have felt in any NASCAR game. Now, granted, 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 I know the, the floaty feeling, you know, a lot of people don't like that. I don't like that either. Um, right now, we still don't have vibration to tell what our tires are doing and stuff like that. I don't like that as well. We need vibration to know what our car is doing and stuff like that. But I'm sure down the line that will come about. But the overall just weightiness of the car. Going into a corner and you really have to slow it down. See, one thing that I always never liked about a lot of NASCAR games is that if you go to a track like let's say Martinsville or, or, or you go to a track like Bristol or you go to a track like Homestead any track where you really got to get on to the brakes the one thing that I have always noticed when it came to a lot of NASCAR games is once you get on to the brakes like at a you know New Hampshire or something like that and your car gets planted you can mash on the gas and you'll be good throughout the rest of the corner and this game right here it really penalizes you once you get onto the brakes and you try to mash back onto the gas. Your car is going straight to the wall. You really got to baby the throttle through the corners. I have videos of prime examples of me at Richmond. You got to baby the throttle going through the corner. Same thing like at Phoenix. You got to baby the car when you're in those corners. You can't just get on the brakes, get to the speed that you need to get to the speed where you can make the corner. Then mash the gas again and you make the exit. No, no, no. It's not going to work that way. A lot of off-throttle time. I'm loving that. Especially with this whole new package that we got. This 550 horsepower package. A lot of these tracks, you know what I'm saying. They, they mini super speedways. The cars are keeping up with you and stuff like that. The draft is playing a factor. When you go to these smaller tracks. Like a Dover. Like a Phoenix. Like a Richmond. Where real driving, real handling comes into play. It really feels good and rewarding. That off throttle time, that finessing that you gotta do to get through the corner. I'm really enjoying that. The heaviness, the weightiness of the car. I'm loving that. They really got that down pat. They still, like I said, we still need our vibration to indicate what the car is doing. Um, they still need to make the car feel more planted into the track. Um, one thing I'm not liking is when you get onto the apron, you know what I'm saying? It, it feels like you're still on the banking on the track. It doesn't penalize you for getting onto the apron. It doesn't spin you out. It doesn't do nothing. Um, I'm sure eventually they're going to fix that. But for right now, that's the issue. When you get into the apron on any track, it doesn't turn you around or do nothing to you. It just, it's just like you're on ice all around the track. And I'm not going to lie to y'all. Um, I don't like that for, you know, saying uh, single player career mode and quick races and stuff like that. But for online racing, though, I'm cool with that. Because you got to realize we're online, we're racing, lag, playing against other people, whatever, you know, trying to avoid wrecks. I, I like that. I like that I can get onto the apron and it won't spin my car around. So I don't like it for single player, but I like it for online, though. Does this sound like a catch 22? Yeah, yeah, I think it sounds like a catch 22, man. Yeah, I mean, but I'm just giving y'all my honest opinion, though. But, man, the physics of the car, it feels good. And also, talking about online, I'm not going to dwell on it too long, man, because y'all already know the issues when it comes to online and stuff like that. Um, ever since I had a game, I had a game a week prior to uh, the initial release to everybody else, the general public. Um, I've been playing the game a lot. Um, once the game finally got released to everybody else, uh, did a lot more uh, online racing and stuff like that. Um, I, I, can, I can make it into my own separate video about online and stuff like that, but I'm going to say this much. Uh, they really need to fix uh, the trolling. It's a lot of cars going backwards. They're not getting penalized for it. Really need to fix that. Like I said, I can make my own separate video and go into depth about that, but I'm not going to do it here, though. But they really need to fix the trolling, the wrecking, the cars going backwards online. They really need to fix that. That's all I got to say. You know what I mean? Because that is a major issue right now. When you get a lobby where, you know, the top five guys, they're running good and there's nobody going backwards, it's been some good racing. I've I, I been in some lobbies with some good racing, real good racing. But 
the whole turnaround going backwards, that's still an issue. And we got to get that addressed. You feel me? So that's what I'm going to say about the online for right now. But moving on, though. Um, another thing, too, as well, when it comes to issues and stuff like that. Uh, I've seen a lot of people's videos um, when they're doing career mode or quick races and stuff like that. Uh, playing against the AI. Um, something about the AI having, like, a speed warp glitch or something where they, like, speed forward or something like that. Um, from what I've seen, that's a lot of people that's on Xbox having that issue. I have not yet had that issue on PlayStation. And I'm on PlayStation 5, but it is the PlayStation 4 version because there's no such thing as next-gen uh, NASCAR Heat 21. It's just PlayStation 4 and Xbox One versions. But I have seen that issue happen to a lot of people on Xbox, so I'm thinking that's more of an Xbox issue. Um, it hasn't happened to me. Uh, I haven't seen that issue or anything like that. But when it comes to the AI, though, uh, the AI, the the whole riding on rails, uh, riding a, a imaginary line, a predetermined line, uh, the AI not you know wanting to you know really spread out, get spread it, um, you know fan out, run different grooves. The AI just want to stick at the bottom and stuff like that. Um, that's something that I'm not liking course that would get fixed and when i say fixed um i'm sure that the ai is probably gonna stay like this for this game but i'm sure for the next game um the ai will have more of an adapted system where they can race up down you know what i'm saying middle lane high lane you know what i'm saying different grooves and stuff like that the ai will you know what i'm saying i'm sure in other games probably not this one uh the ai will go with you at restricted play racing uh they will follow you um they will try to work with you i'm sure that will all play a factor just like how it was on the heat games and stuff like that in due time but for right now though the ai is just pretty much you know there just to be there they they not you know rocking with you or nothing you're pretty much out there on your own you feel me pretty much out there on your own man but uh in due time though i'm sure the ai will get better but for right now though the ai is really subpar the ai is really unpredictable the ai is really you know scripted you know what i mean really scripted um i can make a whole separate video talking about all the issues and stuff like that when it comes to ai but i'm just skimming on across a couple things man just giving y'all my overall review real quick of the game um when it comes to options uh, a lot of people they wish that they can make their own setups and stuff like that uh, me personally i'm cool with not making setups I honestly i am man i know a lot of people want to make setups and stuff like that but me personally i'm not a person man that want to sit there for hours and hours trying to make the best setup in the world um if they give us that option that'll be a plus that'll be another added feature but for what it is though i'm cool with not making a setup i'm cool with just tight or loose you know what i'm saying options on my car i'm cool with that i'm cool with that you know what I mean? I'm really cool with that. I read it for all the other major issues get out the way and get handled before you try to put a feature of us being able to make our own setups. That can wait for me. Maybe for some of y'all it can't, but for me though, that can wait. I, I can honestly wait for that. You know what I mean? I, I'm cool with that. Especially when it goes to the online racing. It, it makes online, even the online race, it makes it more competitive and it makes it more equal because everybody has the same fixed setup. You just got to be fast. You got to hit your marks. You got to just have finesse. You know what I mean? Can't nobody just come into a, a race with a, a crazy-ass setup and just dominate. You know what I'm saying? We're all equal. Now, a setup will definitely play nice in some of these tracks because some of these tracks, my car is just loose. It's too tight. It's just floating everywhere. So I know a setup will definitely play nice in some of those tracks. But, I mean, you just got to, you know, learn how to drive it. And I'm cool with that. You know what I'm saying? We're learning a different way to drive and stuff. Look. I didn't been playing this game so much, right? I went on to Heat 5 the other night and tried to play Heat 5. Totally terrible now. I'm, I'm, I'm totally terrible now. Because the, 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 the mechanics of NASCAR 21, the ignition, and Heat 5 is so totally different. I tried to run a couple laps at Talladega on Heat 5. I couldn't even do it. My car is everywhere. I'm everywhere. I couldn't even keep a straight line. It was sad, man. It was sad, man. But I like that new challenge, that new you know what I'm saying, challenge that I got of trying to master NASCAR Heat 21, you feel me, and just to really, you know what I'm saying, give y'all just an overall view, this overall review of this game, you know what I'm saying, I talked about a few little things and stuff like that, yes, the game has issues, yes, the game has flaws, yes, it's not up to expectation 
that we wanted, but we put a high expectation on this game. We wanted everything under the sun in this game. Even me, I want everything under the sun. And for what we got right now, and for what the developers are doing with the patches that they're coming out with, fixing a lot of these issues, you know what I'm saying? Steering, they, they, they fixing a lot of stuff, man. These patches, they fixing a lot of stuff. You know what I mean? Right now, at the state of this game where it is right now, I give this game a five out of five. It could be so much better, yes, but it could have been so much worse. Especially as a NASCAR fan, I know where we didn't came from. The Heat games was not perfect. So if this is how the game is looking right now, and they have a long contract with NASCAR for it to get better, I see hope in the future. I see hope in the future. It's not the best game. It's not the best racing game right now. But for where it stands at right now, it's, 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 it's middleman. It's middleman. I give it a 5 out of 5. That's my overall review of this game, man. You know what I mean? So make sure y'all stay tuned for more videos. I got more videos coming up. You already know, man. It is your boy, Flash It Only Man 773. You know what I mean? Make sure you rate, subscribe, comment, all that good old stuff to the page. Follow me on all social media platforms. You dig? Shout out to my people over there on Twitch. Shout out to my people on YouTube. You already know how we rocking. Like I said, man, um, I really got a lot of um, high expectations, a lot of hope for this game. For where is that right now, man? I'm, I'm having fun. I'm enjoying it. It could be worse. But where is that right now? I'm enjoying it. Yes, it's still buggy. Yes, it's still glitchy. But if you look past all of that and just look at the overall game for what they're trying to present to us, bro, the future looks bright. The future truly does look bright. You can't lie and say that. Yes, it's st certain stuff that's still not there, like no mirror. You know what I mean? Still ain't got no, you know what I'm saying, no, no, no trap map. You know what I'm saying? Still don't got that. Still don't got no indicator to tell us what our tires are doing and stuff like that. Yes, we still don't got none of that stuff yet. But I'm sure all that will be coming down the line. But for where the game stands at right now, I'm enjoying it and I'm having fun. And I'm going to play the hell out of it like I've been doing. You dig? So until next time, man, I'm going to holler at y'all in the next video, man. Peace, love, and blessings. I'm up out of here, gang, gang. And I'm going to holler at y'all in the next one, man. Y'all stay safe and dangerous at the same goddamn time. Let's get it, man.